Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Off. Uh, last time, we purified Zone One. I thought maybe we'd head back and see uh, our. Uh, oh. So yes, this is what happens when you purify a zone. An inspiration has been found, though. That's cool, right? What even is that? Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is what happens when you purify a zone. The batter isn't surprised by this, so it appears that this is actually his plan. And we can actually see that, um... Yeah, not only are there no phantoms here, there's no nobody. So when Daedon says Zone 1 would be nothing without him, he is telling the truth. Rather literally as well. So yeah. There's no phantoms to fight. Nothing's happening. Oh. Here we go. So that is, I believe, a secretary? Secretary, yeah. Light weakness against plastic, but resistance against smoke. And they are... Those things are weird. You can see he's actually healing himself by stealing my hit points. And mana, for that matter. Nope, sorry, he's muting me. And poisoning me. But he gives out 800 experience points a pop. Works on Pokemon rules. Uh oh. Uh, let me see here. The cancer cards for sound too. Of course, right. Right, right, right. <laughs> this isn't going well. Not as well as I had hoped, at least. Yeah, sure does hit him. So Libato is now dead. Whatever. Oh, and I'm furious, which means I can only attack. Pretty, you know, typical RPG things. Uh-oh. I've been muted. Oh, well, there we go. Purification failed. Game is over. I kind of wanted to show what happens when one dies. So, yeah, that's, uh... That's what we got waiting for us. When we finish purifying everything, it'd be... Let's head along to zone two then, huh? Um, I'm going to be grinding uh, in purified zones to make sure that I have enough goodies for everything. Right. Zone two.
Bismarck, center, library, and lower part. Well, there's the library. <laughs> yes, we should no longer lend any books to that man. He tears out the pages. It's almost dangerous. Yes, I'm going back upstairs. Hello. Welcome to the library. Uh, should I point out that the... I should point out the upstairs floors isn't accessible because of the specters. There are phantoms inside this building? Uh, yes. Why? I'm going to eliminate those impures. To destroy the specters, but, um... You know, you could get hurt, and there, uh, there's nothing up there. Only walls, shelves, stairs, and an old cat. Okay. I'm going to purify that floor. Uh, okay. Don't make too much noise. The third floor is not really accessible. People have torn pages out of the books there. I don't want people to go up there anymore. It could be dangerous. I'm doing nothing wrong. I just like looking at the wall. It's a large building. So yeah, the whole thing is just... This is all the library. I have a little arrow so you know what side you're on. It's not easy to find your way back outside. Every, everything looks the same. I love this blue, by the way. It's big royal blue. This is a fantastic blue. Sorry, I'm blowing out my mic a little bit. I love this game's use of color. I uh, prefer the fake books. You can't damage them. You also can't read them, dog. These are fake shelves. There's a visible base under the real ones. The title of this book is unreadable. Read. Ocus. A. Fleur. Tales and Legends. The Toad King. A long time ago, there lived an evil king with countenance so repulsive he was called the Toad King. One day, a masked man presented himself, himself at the sovereign court and spoke these words. Good day, O evil monarch. Leave and return peace to thy people, or taste mine blade and perish at its end. The king responded, I am the king, and thou art my subjects. Thou art not to oppose mine will. Thus, the masked man brandishes Epe and killed the king. The end. Epe is just sword in French. Um, that book is symbolic of how after I finish purifying his own, it's kind of just nothing. For afterwards, she instated three guardians responsible for watching over the zones. The Firebird was designated Lord of the Second Zone, Eternal City of Bismarck. He was the tallest and most beautiful and most just. It a no more. You, Roman, wish, finish the gardener a uh, window read trying in peace that up to you die so that is um accurate lore at least partially accurate lore this is illegible actually i don't think it's illegible but you can read it for yourself this is uh true the good name of this zone is a firebird named Jaffet. um and he is arguably beautiful in terms of you know because Daydon's just like this big weird man who may or may not be made of steel Index. Introduction. Creation of the modern world. The Guardians. The Queen and her son. Four zones. Zone zero. Toad King and the Appendix. Uh, the Merchant. Appendix Glossary Authors Note. So, we know that there is a queen and she leads the Guardians. The Guardians and the Queen are in charge of the four zones. Hugo, that weird kid we saw in the Interquils, may or may not be her son. This is a note that indicates that that may be the truth. The creation of the modern world, which is the weird one made of smoke and everything that we're currently living on. We will learn about that later, so I won't, you know, I won't go on. Um, by ES. Uh, Madame, vous commencez Et Et souvent, les méthodes de cause qui. Oh, my French is so fucking terrible. Pardonnez-moi. Um, the Toad King and the Merchant. So, Zachary, our little merchant man, who every video game is required to have, wears a little toad mask. I'm not sure of what that relates to. Cardinal points. No matter what way I hold the book, it stays upside down. I have run out of oxygen. So, that implies that 
prior to the Elsons, there were regular humans, and instead of breathing smoke, they breathed oxygen. And this world is now hostile for proper mammals. Book with a page missing. This is the story of the three guardians chosen by the queen to watch over the zones. Is it's of life in the north of this land. The first date on was tall and short of temper. His firmness of character and edge of... And his body of steel enabled him supreme reign over his zone. The second, blank, was kind, generous, smiling, yada yada, gave more security to his subjects. Um, I believe his name is Jaffet. He, uh, you can tell that he's talking himself up a lot. Um, this is the same book. This is not a book. Look at it. This is a playing card. This is written on a playing card. It's the Ace of Spades. <laughs> Yeah, long boys. Inverted ectoplasmic incarnation. Light smoke resistance. Yeah, get that pepper steak going. Listen to that track, man. I feel like having a <clears throat> pardon page of book on the wall. There's another playing card. Queen of Spades. Um, the bird was cold the most. Da -da -da, elected from reality. Arcane legend state queen living her in the room something some created say that they something nothing but speculation that area where Hugo is by the way the little boy the red thing that's just called the room by the way right there's a puzzle here We got boys. Many boys, in fact. Hit him, auto. See, the main issue is that the auto will not use um, healing items pretty much ever. I've been muted. It won't heal or use healing spells. Uh, it can, it's just very rare, which is stranger than it never using them. Crap. One moment, everyone, while I get my walkthrough back up, because I'm a coward. Um, I often use walkthroughs on my uh, playthroughs, just because I'm I'm here to, like, let's not put too fine a point on it. I am here to, oh god, I am here to put a show on. Pages hang on the wall back into their books. Background of each page and both is one of four playing cards. That ain't right. There we go. Much better. Oh, bring on the ghosty boys. Sorry, I don't like talking during Pepper Steak because it's just such a good fucking track.
Hey, nice. Save second base. Now I have a bigger heal. I don't even remember what I have. Crap. Wait, I can just go bring it to the other ones. Do, 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 do. These are clubs. Oops. Uh, yep. Clubs of clubs. Spades. Nice. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Check that shit out. Alright. Now we... Fight some ghosts. Radical. Now we just need the last one. I don't... Or no, I think we have one more. Yeah, we have the last one. Cool. Um, so that will require us to go over here, I want to say. What up, guys? I have no fear. I know no how to not fear anymore. I'm not afraid. Do you want to know how? If you're not scared to know, ask me. The page has taught me. I'm not afraid anymore now. Do you want to be free from fear? Give me a hundred bucks, I'll give you the page. Has to be a good reason. You can't get to the park? Maybe it's better that way. Park. Boodles. I think these are all the same story. Everything's in order here. Cool. All right, now I put all the books back in order. Ah, uh, really? That, that's good. Well, let's go further up then. That's great. Third floor is now accessible, but only for you. Cool. I'm going to go save then, my mans. So yeah, a lot of people don't like Bismarck as much. Zone 2 is, for some people, the low point of the game. Because it gets all weird and climactic in Zone 4. Zone 1 is just where you're introduced to a lot of cool stuff. The boss of Zone 3 is awesome, and... Zone 3 itself implies some weird stuff about the world and lore. And Zone 0 is where you meet the boss, and spoiler alert, yes, we can go back there for a real reason. There's a secret boss. Minor details. She's not the guardian of Zone 0, though. That's actually the judge. Oh. S stupid of me. What up, dog? Who are you? What is that? You're not the judge. The judge? No. No, that is not my name. My name is Jaffet. I'm the creator of this city. I'm also the one who leads the phantoms, my royal instruments of my vengeance. You're the leader of the specters? Precisely. They are my arms, sent to me by the queen to restore justice to this zone. You must have been quite ardent to have set foot on the stairs of this library. I recognize you in a certain courage and exceptional trait of this fear-riddled place. However, my vengeance will not leave anyone unpunished. Therefore, you shall be the first to succumb to my bla to the blasts of my ectoplasmic army. There is no need for specters yet to eliminate you, you ridiculous sport pantaloon-clad puppet. Oh, I finally get a taste of payback. Chaffin, well guarding his own too. Second boss? Question mark.
Give me one of these, huh? Gangsters, this is my fly girl. When your soul is valiant, so your arms are made in its image, I must admit that I may have underestimated you. Unfortunately for you, I would reputate all my gentlemanly manners in order to be the new nemesis. Spectres, come to me. Let us dance together and resound the song of the righteous. May the torments of men heal the wounds that have been dealt to me. And may your intangible bodies devour their souls for all eternity. Phantoms? Phantoms, come to me, I command you. Curses. By what spell, bareful human, do you succeed in impeding my ectoplasmic acolytes from joining me? No matter, you shall taste my wrath. What about this? Is this better? It's a little better. Or is it? Oh well. Abaddon's meat received. This game isn't too too hard. <laughs> Pitiful fool. It is not yet time for me to reveal my true nature. But you know that you will soon get what you deserve, you insufferable buffoon. Hey, look at that. Add on Omega. So now we have another one. Oops. Strange as nothing. So Omega. He's the Omega and his class is the Sun. So for a reminder, we have Father and Son, and that's Alpha and Omega. It's impossible to climb any higher at this point. I should probably just leave. All right. That's a pretty good place to stop for the episode. So I've been Alfred. This has been off. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.